for their own country. It's like we see Pakistan as really negative in the West by the media, but here they're actually doing something positive for their own people. घर में जो है उसको उठालो और भागो सवा ग्यारह बजे हम घर से निकल गए और वो रह गया दीवार टेला स्वाचे और पसरा ले दीवार को पकड़ने की कोशिश की तो दीवार भी साथ ना दे सका बहा के ले गया चार आवाजें लगाई थी लोगों ने उसको देखा था कि इसकी मिया को पानी उठा के ले के जा रहा है और अब ये क्या करती है अपने हस्बैंड के उस मोर कार गए अल्लाह के असरे पे बैठी हुई है This is probably the closest to normality these kids get. Look at the place. Would you expect there to be even a building here? Local people helping out their own people. It's really good because obviously after the flood, what what do they do? What can they do? It's like their life must be torn apart. Okay, class. We're going to learn the alphabet. You have to repeat after me. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. E. The first time we came um, to the tour, I felt this overwhelming emotion, like, and there was just something I felt really strong. But that was because we were thinking, like, this is the guy who dreamed of Pakistan, um, and I didn't really know anything else. Now that we've had two weeks to travel around Pakistan and see exactly what his dream has turned into, I hold this man in so much respect. Personally, when when I first came here. I didn't really respect the guy enough. Um, I turned up in shorts. But after I visit, after we've we visited Pakistan and I've seen what the culture is, I've realised that, that this guy's dream was amazing. And what what he has turned this country into and what this country has become is something we should be, as British Muslims, should be very very proud of. I believe, like, the dream was a really good thing. The dream of Alam Akbar, but corruption and all this bad stuff is not what Alam Akbar dreamed. It's not what religion teaches us either. That makes me really angry, but I do understand that it's only a minority. I mean, of what I've seen in Pakistan, I've seen a lot of positive, more positive than negative. Definitely. Every country does have negativity. I'm not trying to compare it, but I'm just saying every country does have negativity. Let's hope Pakistan is working to wipe that negativity out. I think out. The, there's still parts of the country which are very, very deprived. I think it's down to the Pakistani people to make that change. It's not like heaven where everything's perfect. Yeah. There are good sides and bad sides, and there's theft, there's kidnapping, there's all sorts of problems which do exist. And I think it's up to British Pakistanis as well, people living in different countries, the UK, the US, to come back and actually help to improve the country. Because the country's given us so much, we should make an effort. Pakistan, I was very angry with Pakistan as a country, but 
now that I've been there, I think the, the majority of Pakistani people are really down-to-earth, kind-hearted people. The trip has made me a more confident person in terms of my ability to deal with Pakistani people and the culture and the religion. I can hold a conversation about Pakistan and not just revert to what I've heard on the news. I've realised that I have nothing to be embarrassed about of who I am. Um, I'm comfortable being British, I'm comfortable being Pakistani and I've realised I can be both and I'm in a position where I'm fortunate enough to be both. It was the most amazing experience I've ever had but as soon as I got back to the UK it just felt so good to be back because if it wasn't for being born here I don't think I'd be half the person that I am right now. To have all these opportunities open to you and this lifestyle means so much to me. A lot of moments across the trip were really overwhelming and really emotional. And I think the result of that is that now that I'm back in the UK, I'm a lot more relaxed. I'm a lot calmer. I know what I want and I just feel much more confident and much happier as a person. Before I went on the trip, I really wanted to promote Pakistan. Now it's more of a sense that I want people to be aware of Pakistan. There's people who are really, really struggling and they're not just Pakistani struggling, they're human beings struggling. You wouldn't want that in any country. The trip has answered my question about am I British, am I Pakistani? Now I have learned that I'm a British Pakistani, I'm both. I don't need to question it anymore. I feel so normal. I feel like there's no question anymore. I feel like now I'm looking towards the future. I'm really looking forward to it. It's like I can achieve anything I want now. Why shouldn't I?